So I'm off into my woodland up there. Decided I'm going to make a shelter over the next two days. I'm staying out for one night, but make a shelter tonight. Sorry, today. Hopefully, I get it finished tonight. If not, I'll get it finished tomorrow morning. It's not usually this damp coming this way. I feel we've had a lot of rain lately. That is usually just a ditch. There's usually never nothing running down it. Um, that goes all the way through the woodland that I'm staying in as well. It did start flowing down there all year round, but this is usually empty, so I'm quite surprised at that. Well, not that I should be, because uh, I said there's been a lot of rain. So yeah, I'm going to crack on. I'll bring you back when I get there. I've got bacon on my back, plus another bag on top of that. Plus my bow so, so crossing that I might fall over. So I'll bring you back when i found the spot that I'm going to set up this uh, shelter. Right, so set on my bash, that's where I'm going to kip tonight if I don't get the uh, shelter finished. And I'm going to put the shelter between these two trees. So that tree and that tree. And then that tree there is completely dead. So I'll easily be able to shift out of the way. There is a bit of a watery ditch there, but I'll avoid that when I'm building it. And what I'm going to use to build it with, tools wise, it's a bow saw, my little hatchet, my open hole knife, my backhoe laplander, and more a knife. And then I've got 11. I think it's 11 and a half foot, I can't remember. Yeah, 11 and a half by 8 and a half foot top. So that's going to go over the frame and then I'll put foliage on top of it with the camouflage it. A polythene sheet. I'm going to make a uh, type of super shelter, but I'm not going to put the foil reflective backing on. Um, so I'm just going to have that down the front. And then to help me to make it a bit quicker, cable ties, I will use um, bank line or paracord. It's just reminded me I forgot to get out my Bergen, I'll grab that out there in a second. Um, but I'll use that for the little things that aren't structural, if you know what I mean. Just keep them in place, make it a bit quicker. Duct tape just in case I get a rip in one of them, just to repair it. And then I've got some <coughs> staples again to help secure that on. Might use them, might not. And just <coughs> a little pack of nails again. Might use them, might not. I want this shelter to, to, to last a little while, so that's why I've brought that stuff. So I've got to clear that tree off, put a main beam from that tree to that tree, and then work from there. Right, I'll bring you back at uh, regular intervals just to see how I'm getting on. Here yeah, guys, as you can see, I've got um bank line, some paracord and comms cord, bungee if I need it, and twine, I'll probably use the twine actually. Um, <coughs> this little bag is my cordage bag, I always bring that with me. So I'll we'll probably have to replen it after this, or we'll have to. Um, just while I've got you guys, just put a quick queen, sh uh, queen, a, qu a quick screenshot of the uh, £25 donation I made to Make a Wish on behalf of Be the Clams giveaway. It was Bowler Hatman, Bowler Hatman Bushcraft, something like that. I can't remember his name. I'll put it across the bottom of the screen. He won. That was his charity. So. I put 50, uh, sorry, 25 quid into that, so that'll come on the screen now. Right, guys, so that's what we've got so far. Got the front up, we got the main frame, <coughs> and the um, part of the uh, super shelter. So th that's just held up at the minute. This stuff a bit of um, bank line, just made a loop. So you roll it up and hang it up, and then when you got your fire on, you drop it down. It helps keep the heat in. Yeah, so on all the important bits on the outside of the frame, 
used bank line kept this on here with cable ties on the top and cable ties on the bottom and then on the middle ones I'm just going to use twine um, and that goes, I don't know if you can see anyway, that goes through the same hole as this sorry, helps if you can see same hole as the cable tie so you're not making two holes right so as you can see from the back so I've got to collect a bit more wood I need another strong piece to go in the middle from the middle cable tie that you can see kind of a bit like that for there and then I'm going to go crisscross as well all the way so it goes from there to there all the way across so I've got like three squares if you know what I mean and then down the sides so down here Again, I'm just going to get the stakes down there, going into the ground, coming up tied off on the side. Once that's done, that should make it rigid. Excuse me, <coughs> slipping in that ditch I was telling you about, I showed you earlier. Um, so, yeah, once I've done that, then I'll get the uh, blue top on, secure that down. And then I've already collected a few just because they were really new by and I already fell off the tree is <coughs> some spruce so I can just you know chuck it on camouflage it obviously I'm going to need a lot more than that but um, main effort will be to camouflage that side and the back so as you can see it's pretty thick woodland so this side this side can be uh, left to last. So I'm going to stop for a bit of lunch and then I'm going to crack on and get the rest done. Um, I'll bring you back when it starts taking shape. It looks a bit crap at the minute but I'm hoping it will uh, look better when I'm finished. Right, so I've uh, finished lashing all the poles together. Just need to um, them poles out of there and them ones there just make the sides that's where every pole is and stick a, uh, another support coming down into the ground then lash it to there and then I'm going to stick the tarp over it secure the tarp and stick the greenery on it um, lights fading now so probably won't see any more progress on the shelter itself until tomorrow um, you know when I get a bit of light obviously but I do I see how the light is when I finish the next bit and get the tarp on and that and if uh, I can see it in the camera then I'll record it otherwise I'll bring you back when I'm getting some scoff on guys cheers <coughs> got the tarp on but it is absolutely pitch black it's only yeah, three minutes. Yeah, three minutes past five. <laughs> it's pitch black. I'm going to see if I can get some foliage and uh, cover the outside up, and the top's not big enough to cover the sides. So uh, I'll just weave something in there. Right, I'll probably bring you back either later when I'm getting some scoff or tomorrow. So it's nine o'clock. Just gonna get my scoff on. Just gonna have um, a <coughs> mackerel again. Getting addicted to that. Almost as much as bacon. Anyway, I've finished the bed. Don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Um, I'll show you. Then tomorrow morning in the light of day, and I'll just show you <coughs> the finished article. Um, I haven't thatched, if you like, with um, foliage or anything like that because it's just too dark. <laughs> so I've just done the bed and then I'm sacking it. So when I get my scuff on, I'm going to go to bed. 
Right, so it's half eight in the morning. Still in me scratch yet. I'll be getting up in a minute. Um, it's a decent night in here and dry. Surprisingly comfortable on this bed. Well, that might have just been because I was knackered. Anyway, I fell asleep straight away. Um, only problem is this plastic sheet in that corner. As you can see, doing that all night. <coughs> that kept waking me up now and then, but other than that, it's fine. Right, let me get up. Right, so that's how far I got last night. Like I say, I didn't put any camouflage on it, it was just too dark, I couldn't find the stuff I was after. So I'm going to do that this morning before I get my breakfast on. So, as you can see, I used those crooked nails or staples, whatever they're called, through the eyelets to pin it on. So the top just covers the whole of the top of the shelter, it doesn't cover the sides or the ferry back. But my idea is I'm going to thatch that with stuff like that, but I need to go get some more of it. And then chuck a load on top and cover it. Um, oh. Now on yeah, the supports, I've had to put them on the inside, on this side, just because of that ditch down there. And on the other side, where they should be, outside. Now I've tied all this together with either twine that you can see there, cable ties or paracord and sorry just got a thermometer there, no point checking that because it will be outside temperature. Um, yes yeah, so I've used all of my um, bank line, all of my twine, a little bit of paracord and all of the cable ties. Um, mostly cable ties have been used putting this up, attaching it here and attaching it to the top. Um, I got that idea from a channel called Wezzo and then it's 8 digits, I'm guessing that's his army number as it's 8 digits um, from when he was in. I'll put a uh, link to his channel, he hasn't done a video in 5 years but got some bloody good videos on there. Um, I showed you how to make this stuff, got a lot of hints off him. Um, yeah, so go check him out. I wouldn't bother commenting, I don't think you'll get a reply. Like I say, he hasn't done anything for five years, but uh, yeah, right. And then the bed, I got that idea off Survival Lily. Um, you know, she's got 140,000 followers, subscribers, sorry, so I'm sure you know who she is. Just type her in the search, you'll find her. Um, yeah, like I say, that was surprisingly comfortable, but I think most of that's going to be down to the fact that I was absolutely shattered after doing all this last night, so I was like, out for the count. You see, this corner, this flapping in the wind woke me up a couple of times, but other than that, I was out for the count. So I think if I come here again, and I haven't done any work, I think it might be a bit uncomfortable, but I've got a new uh, inflatable roll mat coming. So yeah, um, I've got the two bags, so I've got my Bergen, and I've got what I used for my food bag last time. I mean, I have got my food in it this time, I used it to bring all this stuff up basically. And again, I've stuffed my smock in it now, because um, you know, it's a bit wet, so I've got my waterproofs on. And then under there, if you can see it, yeah, the metal bit, that's a grill I'm going to leave here, I'm going to leave the bore so bow saw here as well, um, you know, only cost a couple of quid each, bow saw was cheap as chips, I think it was a four quid, so you know, if, if this does get fined wrecked and people nick that, I don't really care, um, hopefully it won't know if I um, cover it up, as you can see, I can't imagine there'd be many people coming this far in Woodland, I don't know if you can have the road in the background, but um, about three quarters of a mile away from that. But I doubt you'll get anybody ever coming here. 
I've seen no signs of life, there's no rubbish, there's nothing. I pushed in quite far, so trick is though, I'm not gonna find it again. Anyway. Right, I'll bring it back after I've camouflaged it up. Right guys, it's ten o'clock. It's about as far as I've got. Um a lot more I need to do. I haven't thatched down either of the sides either. So it's literally what you can see is all that I've done. Um reason for that <coughs> is these trees along here, with the exception of the one or two, you know, nothing, nothing on them. So I have to go a good 500 metres away, grab some, drag them back, grab some, drag them back. It's taking ages, so I'm just going to sack it. We'll go back to Scotland tomorrow as well for work, so just going to have me bacon and head off home. So guys, just going to do myself a bit of bacon butty. Um, once that's done, I'll head off. Um, done my hundred subscriber giveaway a while back. And, uh, Sierra Tango won one of them. I PM'd him, but he hasn't got back to me, so I'm going to give him till next Wednesday. Uh, sorry, not not Wednesday coming, Wednesday after. Um, if he hasn't answered me by then, I'll redraw it. And then uh, if you win, I'll PM you. And if you don't want it, it's um, your choice of who it goes to. Um, it's a water bottle and a fire kit. I'll put a screenshot of it now. So like I say, if um, Sierra Tango doesn't get in touch with me, I'll redo the draw for the first 100 subs. Well, 101 in this case, because I won't put him in again. Um, and then I'll send it out for the winner. Obviously, if he gets in touch with me before, I'm then I won't do it. Right, guys, so... Just to uh, see that ground there, just there, that is where I'm going to put my um, fire reflector and fire. That's what I'm going to do next time I'm out. Yeah, so that's just going to go there. I found some stones that, that I can make a good little fire place with, um, which is utilise the grill I've got. And it should be a good little fire. And then obviously that will work in conjunction with that. Then the heat will reflect through that and then stay in the shelter and keep me nice and warm. I'll have to theory anyway once I'm done. See I've got to do all the packing and that yet. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.